tree on a reed? You know, some people say that everything that happens to you is based on some choice or decision that you made. I'm not sure that's always completely true. What I am sure is completely true is that how you respond to what happens to you in your life is absolutely 100% your choice and your responsibility. That means your mindset, your inner emotional state, your creativity, your problem-solving ability, all of that, your ability to move forward with clear, precise action, all of that is your choice. Now, Abraham Lincoln once said that people are as happy or unhappy as they set their minds to be. And you know that's true, right? Or did you forget? And if you forgot, what is it that blocks you? What are you afraid of? What are you forgetting that prevents you from truly stepping into the fullness of your power and who you can be? And who can you be? Who can you become for your friends, for your loved ones, for your family, for the world? When you step into the fullness of your unique manifestation of human life, human life on this planet is a rare and extraordinary opportunity we each have to flourish in our own unique way. There are a couple of things I would like to mention in this context. And the first, let's call it big picture thinking. And that means what do you love? What do you value? What are you passionate about? What is the longer term intention that you have for your life? What would you like to accomplish? Maintaining that big picture view while keeping the details also in mind. Keeping the two in balance so that you're not working one against the other. Keeping that big picture view so you're able actually to take care of the details, to celebrate the details, to enjoy the moments, the days of your life fully. Being in balance like that. And the second thing, which is very much connected, has to do with the fact that your unconscious patterns, uh, emotions, old beliefs and decisions you may have made, contrary to what some New Age self-help thinking says, need to be fully addressed. It's not just a question of getting on with it, setting a goal, moving forward. First, your unconscious imbalances must be uncovered and then addressed. Now I used to, for many years, teach people how to become comfortable with their limitations, by which I mean I would teach practices of meditation which would allow people to reconcile themselves to unconscious conflict. And I actually hit a wall both in terms of my own denial of capabilities that existed within me and the fact that I wasn't really helping people hold themselves accountable to what they could become. The skills exist, the tools exist, and you can move into the fullness of that power, that creativity, that capability that is really the expression of who you are and what you can become when you choose to fully take on that accountability and to make those changes that allow you to move forward, to step into your life, to, to soar. Mm -hmm.